We're in Florence, South Carolina at a demonstration site for a new product that can make home gardening easier and more successful. I'm with Keith Williamson who helped develop this new, well it's not a new technology, but you put some technologies together. Explain to us how this works. Amanda, this product called FloraFlow is a combination of two technologies, drip irrigation and plastic film or plastic mulch that these two technologies have revolutionized the growing of fresh fruits and vegetables all over the world. The drip irrigation technology was, has been really uh, developed and made affordable by the Israelis. It's a very efficient uh, use of water. There's no overhead watering, which can cause problems. And it also gives, there's no leaching that occurs with overwatering. The plastic mulch or plastic film shades out the, the weeds, except for nut sedge. That would be the only, nut grass would be the only thing that you really have to worry about. And also it keeps the soil nice and moist and warm underneath the plastic so that you get great growing conditions. Again, the proof is in the uh, millions of acres that are used with these two technologies all over the world. Well, when I think of large-scale agriculture like that, it seems like it'd be difficult for me to use in my backyard. How easy is it to unroll this product and get it going at home? Well, you're exactly right. It would be if, if because the, the, the commercial growers have machinery set up with their tractors and everything, so they get it all lined out precisely. With this, we have the, the, the drip irrigation glued precisely on the bottom side of the plastic with a line down the middle that shows you where the drip irrigation is, and all you do is roll it out and hook it up to your, to your garden hose. Now, I've understood that drip irrigation uses a lower pressure or, or devices that reduce the pressure included, and is it pretty easy for somebody like yes. me to use? Well, you're right. Um, drip irrigation is designed to give an even flow, and to have that even flow, it has to be at a low pressure, and so, with the kit comes a pressure regulator that takes the pressure down to around 10 PSI, so you don't have to worry about that. That's all taken care of in the kit. All you have to do is hook it up and plug the end and then you know, cover the edges and get ready to do your garden. So I'm gonna cover the edges of soil and that will keep it from blowing away. Hold it in place. Yeah, you can, you can cover it in a small trench with dirt, it's all like here. You can use uh, garden staples put it down. Uh, you can even put you know, boards or sticks or something on it, just something to keep it in place. Uh, you may eventually want to pull it up if you want to do some side dressing and fertilizer, or you can put fertilizer in other ways, but it's, it's quite easy to put down. Uh, and you can have fun putting it down. I put some down with my brother and we had a nice chat while we were doing it. And weren't too tired when you finished? <laughs> no. <laughs> and I think, so we're going to show how we are going to um, take the hose and put it with the adapters that are going to lower the pressure. And then you've got another piece involved in that, and that's a timer. Because you said timing of the, of the water is critical. So give me some ideas right. of how often you would water. Well, watering is, uh, is going to be subject to the, the conditions, the, the climatic conditions, and also the soil conditions, and also the stage the crop is in. Uh, but the starting off, I would say that you would, you would water just by hand the first time to get the plant set. And then you could start watering in, in 30 minute increments, uh, maybe once a day. 30 minutes once a day. And it just drips out very low. And as the plant catches on as these are, you might want to move up to 30 minutes twice a day. And then once the plant's fruiting and starting to move and the temperature starts to heat up, you may even go to three times a day and maybe even 45 minutes or something like that. But you want to keep the intervals pretty short because that gives you your best efficiency in watering. Explain to me why the water doesn't just whoosh down. You said that when you put it out slowly, it tends to move horizontally, is that correct? Well, the water establishes its paths. And when you put it out in small amounts, it doesn't have a chance to, to, to really set up a, a downward path. It goes in capillary actions through the soil, depending on the structure of the soil. Sandy soil will go down a little bit quicker than clay soil. But commercial growers have learned over the years that it moves surprisingly well across the bed. So even though this film is how wide? This is 48 inches wide, but it's covered up about six inches on each side. So we have about a 36 inch bed. And earlier you had me 
reached my hand under there and I was amazed it's perfectly moist out towards the edge because that water is moving right. sideways across the whole growing area. Yeah, the capillary action in the soil allows it to move sideways uh, more than you would ever think. Keith, if I cut this into lengths so that I could use it in my garden, what's going to keep the water from just pouring out the end of that cut hose? Well, that's a good question. Uh, it's easy to stop. Um, I, we include a little slide in the kit that you can fold over and stick the, uh, the drip tape in. Or an easy way is to just cut a section of drip tape, and maybe I'll have a chance to show you how to do that. And you just fold it over a couple of times up the drip tape, fold it over one time across itself, and stick it back in a little slide that you've cut off. Any way you crimp it, that's better than tying it. If you tie it, you may want to flush the system out periodically, about every month, just to try to get any algae or anything growing in there. So it's good to have a way to flush it out. Keith, I think that the home gardener is going to benefit from the many years of um, commercial usage of this that you have, have been overseeing. And if people would like to find out about this product, where can they go? Well, the product is called FloraFlow, as I mentioned. We, the FloraFlow.com, F-L-O-R-A-F-L-O-W, uh, is a website. On there is information about how to use it and where to find it, and also a little bit about the history of its develop, development. Well, I am looking forward to some beautiful tomatoes, and I want to thank you for introducing this new product to me. Well, you're welcome, and thank you.